The Honorable Lou. <laughs> I'm so uh, happy to meet you. This is one of the Equal Rights Amendment's indefatigable supporters and champions. He's been in the Illinois uh, Congress for 31, did you say? 31 years? All that time trying to get women equal rights? And we're here tonight to screen the film, and he's going to talk to his peers about why this is the year to have the vote. So can you tell us a little bit about the present status of the ERA in Illinois? And so it takes a three-fifths vote in both chambers. Of the it's a supermajority. Correct, in the House and in the Senate. And we, for many years, have had a majority, but we just have not been able to cross the threshold uh, for a lot of reasons, whether it be the Me Too movement or whether it be people finally coming to the realization that uh, women are entitled to their rights in the Constitution of the United States of America. We now think this is the opportunity. So uh, we're going to work hard. Uh, we're going to cajole legislators and urge them and beg them. And, and uh, we have one advantage this particular year that we haven't had previously, and that is that we have maybe 15 or 20 members of the House who had never committed to vote for this previously who are retiring. Ah. And the reasons were all political. Most of these are Republican members of the House who, for political reasons, didn't feel they could vote for it. Many of them have already committed now to vote for it and had to for it. Because they're retiring, they feel they can express their true feelings? Unfortunately, in the political world in which we live, the polarized uh, legislatures, not only in the states, but in D.C., we have a lot of people who don't vote their conscience. And, it's obviously appalling, but now it's time to take advantage of these retirement. It's time to take advantage of, of the noise coming out of Washington, which is negative, uh, which drives people to say, you know, it's time to do this. It's time to do the right thing. Um, it was very helpful here in Illinois that Nevada did the right thing. Right. And, uh, we, at one time, were hoping to be the final state necessary, but it looks like well, there's going to have to be one after us. It's going to be Arizona. Right, because everyone thought that Virginia, Virginia. was going to pass, right? right? Yeah. We were in Virginia working on it. Yep. So if, if wherever we all think the next state is after Illinois makes this happen, I will go wherever I have to go with all of you and do Yay! what I need to do to help make this happen. 